All right, uh, let's go ahead and get into what we got going on this morning. Prime cuts. That's what the bucket list is all about. So this morning, we're going to continue to take you on that path down that good old prime steak. I'm, we're going Ooh. out to Arthur's Prime Steakhouse. Oh, we're back and we're doing prime cuts of meat and we had to make a stop at one of my favorites, Arthur's Steakhouse here in West Little Rock. And when we were talking about prime cuts of meat, our friend of your hunter said he had to stop. They said they were making a steak today. I was like, this is the one to be on. We're here behind the bar. Obviously not bartenders, but there's some good ones. They're going to bring us out drinks to the table. All right, let's go eat. All right, Hunter, this spread looks amazing. Look at all of this food here. What well, here's calling your name right now? Okay, so Jerry knows when I come in here, you have got to give me this filet. And it is oscar with grenade sauce. So that means it has amazing crab on it with their magnificent sauce. It is my to die for. That looks so good. You eat that. I'm going to go for this bone-in filet here. So that is so rare. Did you know that? It's like one of those rarest forms of beef that you can get, and they have it right here at Arthur's. And it's huge. It's like family style out it's here. It's like a whole, a whole <laughs> cat, right? I mean, all right, Heather, we just took our first bites. This steak is amazing. It's got the butter on top. It's got the seasoning. And then you pair it with this mac and cheese. Well, I heard that's why Jerry actually opened Arthur's for that cut of meat. It's that good, huh? It's so good. This mac and cheese, though. Heather here, she thought it was french fries earlier. It's got that crunch on the top. Oh, it looks so good. It tastes good, too. But I've got my filet. Oscar, like I said, with Bernays sauce. So that's a crab meat. The cut of meat is amazing. They cut it to the perfection. And, and the temperature is amazing. And then I've paired it with the cream corn. And I heard this is J-Lo's favorite. All right. I have what you call the man steak. This is how you determine how good the steakhouse really is, Hunter. It's the New York strip. It is cut to perfection. Temperature, the seasoning on the outside is immaculate. And you have the bone-in ribeye? If that's the man steak, then what is this thing? This thing is huge. It's the bone-in oh ribeye gosh. here. Look at the portions. Yum. We paired it with some Brussels sprouts. One of my favorites. She's over here just ordering this and getting it to go. Oh, it's so amazing. All right, now we have some other options if you're not into steak. So they have the chopped author salads. They're staple here. And what do you have? I came for the prime cuts. I'm staying for the steak. Sea bass. We got sea oh, bass. So we got good. some mashed potatoes, mm. green beans. Super good. All good. All right. They definitely know how to do steaks here, but they definitely know how to do something else, and it's dessert. Yeah, you're going to want to save room for this. The dark chocolate creme brulee here. Apparently, been around since before I was born. Well, not since before I was born, but <laughs> it's the white chocolate over here, and they are amazing, so definitely order one next time you come in. Definitely a place to get the most amazing steaks and sea bass and everything else you can imagine, but they have a full bar here. I have a strawberry Collins. What do you have, Hunter? The pear ginger ginger martini, y'all, so good. I haven't been this full in a while. Wash it down with some of this. Do you That'd think you're going to come back and do some more bucket lists with me? Oh, we're coming back. I'm definitely coming back here. Oh, right, yes, you are. So cheers, cheers to you. That. Jerry, another round? Uh, ah. Yeah, that's some good stuff. Uh, I'll tell you, think about those steaks. You don't need to put anything on it. I told you about my friend Wade Grayson earlier. He puts ketchup on everything, so I wouldn't take him to a restaurant what? like that. You wouldn't need to put ketchup on a steak like that. But what? next week, I will say... Uh, Riverfront Steakhouse. Yes. Yeah, yeah, people have heard about Riverfront Steakhouse. That's where we're going to be venturing off to uh, next week. So make sure y'all stick around with that.